Hey everybody, it's the man, Mr. Dry Bones, and I am back with another review. But this time we're going to do some figure reviews. I picked up Winston and uh, Egon here last week with the explicit purpose of doing a review for them here on the channel. Because um, I wanted to do, when I wanted to start this channel, I wanted to do figure reviews as well as video games. Because um, I love collecting figures. I've got a, a some modest collection that I'm really happy with. A lot of my favorite characters, and I'm a, definitely a big Ghostbusters fan. So, for the purpose of this review, I'm going to be looking at both uh, Egon and Winston. We're going to look at the figures, we're going to look at the accessories, and then I'm going to compare them to some SH figure arts and some uh, Figmas that I have, so you'll be able to compare them for scale. I think these two are both going to look really good in the display case next to my other figures. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hello, well, we're going to take a look at uh, Egon now. And actually, oh, let's put Winston back in the picture there. There he is. He's doing okay over there, but uh, yeah, the other one I got was Egon. Uh, you know, rest in peace, Harold Ramis. He will, he is definitely missed. Every time I watch the movie, let's get a close up on his face there. So pretty decent sculpt. I mean, look at his glasses. That's actually pretty well done in the hair. It's very good. You know, Spangler. Got his flight suit. The gloves, his knees. Joints are a little stiff, kind of like they kind of snap though, kind of like uh, you know, you know, exactly like how Winston's did. So that's not necessarily a bad thing because you know they'll hold in place pretty well. Yeah, and his legs, got that joint on there. Yeah, it looks fine. And you got his boots. All those laces, nice and shiny. The Ghostbusters always had such shiny boots. Snap that in there. You see, it takes a decent amount of you know force to get those to to move. But you know, the legs twist and rotate. That's really nice. I mean, that's a good way to you know. So you have lots of opportunities to different poses. Now Egon came with some you know he came with a proton pack just like Winston did. You can see it's almost you know almost identical. Um, you know, I'm a big video game person too. Obviously from this channel, it would have been nice if they had um, you know given the Ghostbusters different ones. You know, maybe give. Peter or Ray or you know Egon, just a standard proton pack, but then maybe the other Ghostbusters could have had some of the weapons that were in the video game. That would have been neat. But yeah, he's got his proton pack. No proton stream like Winston. Instead, Egon got a PKE meter, which is very, very tiny. Let's see if we can get it to zoom in there. Yeah. Try and keep it centered, but yeah, look at that PKE meter. I always like the one in the TV show a little bit better. The movie design is fine, but it's a, uh, you know... The one in the cartoon was a little bit more fun. But um, let's put on his proton pack. And we'll look at the scale and we'll see how he looks with his pack on and everything. So again, this can come off. This 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 review should be a little bit more uh, stable than the one that we did for Winston, but that's okay. Learning new things all the time. Come on, let's get that off. It should pop fairly easily. I don't know. Oh, geez. I don't want to damage it there. Oop, come on. Important safety rule, uh, never yank things, never, you know, try not to force things or yank them because that's how you break them. There we go. Oof, I did a little bit of a number. I wonder if it was on there properly. Oh, well, maybe it's just my disgusting fingernails. All right, let's get Egon in his, oop, Egon in his harness. Let's get that over his head. Go. Look at that. And then line up the circle in the back. Is it in there? Is it caught on something? I think it's caught on something. There we go. Put it on there. There we go. Look at that. Won't, uh, doesn't quite reach. I wonder if it's not incorrectly. Yeah, that side does not pop, but this side does. Yeah, I don't want to force it. It's all right. It can, it can hang loose for, for right now. I'll fiddle with it a little bit later. I like that. It even has the little um, neck cushion on back there. We'll play with that a little bit later. I got his proton, uh, his proton 
his neutronian wand. I don't know why I forgot the word for a minute. Go ahead and get that in uh, his hand there. And like Winston, you just go in, get the hose in, the hose is a little bit smaller, and then you just kind of feed in the handle until he gets a grip, yeah, so like that. So look at that. Uh, it's gonna drive me nuts. Uh, that's not very, that's not very good, but I mean, I guess I'll just have to make do. Okay, also have his, uh, yeah, let's take out the PKE meter. We'll stick this in his hand. Now we can't have Egon without the PKE meter. How else is he gonna know Vince Clortho was a dog? I guess it would be, uh, yeah, I guess it would be Lewis Tully at that point. Get in there. see if we can't fix this with the magic of video editing but was getting you know getting it through the thumb and index finger and then feeding it down the rest of his hand the hand is kind of spongy I shouldn't say spongy kind of loose so you can actually fit the accessory in but then once it's in there it's got a decent hold on it you know just like with the neutronian wand you just got to get it gripped on there nicely but yeah we kind of hold it up like that and a nice over the shoulder shot yeah he's definitely looking at that uh he's definitely looking to speak a e-meter now let's see if, like Winston, we can get him to stand up on his own. Oh, his boot's down. That would explain why he's not, uh, he's not standing up properly. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty decent stand. Hmm. Hmm. Winston, I collect spores, molds, and fungus. It's like, I know. Let's take care of this ghost over here. Ah, hilarious. All right, now let's see. What's he, what's he, what's Egon looking at? Oh, he's... It's Android 21. And another SH figure art. And then we'll pull out our Figma. I have other ones, but these are the three that I grabbed. Ah, there's a good size comparison right there. Let me pick up the camera. Oops. You can actually see them. So you got an SH figure arts, you know, the, the plasma series, and then you got the Figma. So you can actually see, you know, again, decent scale size for the other figures. So I don't know if you or anybody out there does dioramas or anything like that. You can always make your dreams come true when they're all the same size. There's Winston over there. Um, but yeah, overall with these, uh, with the Ghostbuster figures, they're, they're, I think the sculpt is pretty nice. The articulation leaves a little bit to be desired. It's a little stiff. And, um, you know, the accessories are kind of a, you know, I don't know if it's normal for all of them. I've never really had that issue with other figures, but maybe that's just me. Um, you know, getting them in their hands and getting them to stay there. Like Winston, I still really haven't gotten the uh, Neutronian wand in both hands, but that's all right. Again, they're, they're pretty affordable figures, only about $20 a piece. Uh, that's what I paid for them. So if you're a big Ghostbusters fan, I'd say go for them because these are, you know, the nicest ones that I've seen. Um, not that I've seen too many, um, but I wouldn't mind seeing uh, a little bit higher quality, and I'd be willing to pay a higher price for it. So, um, yeah, let's... Um, that's the Ghostbuster Plasma series from Hasbro. Ultimately, you know, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, I'd say go for it. But thank you for watching. Uh, I'll upload both Winston and Egon. And, um, you know, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, what have you. Because I'm trying to grow this channel. And, um, you know, if you want to see more figures like this, leave a comment. Because I've got some on the radar. And I'd be happy to do unboxing and everything for them. So, thank you for coming by. And uh, I'll see you next game. Goodbye, everybody.